was majestic. I was a Rari in Abu Dhabi. My baby wanna party. She take a licking set at just like teriyaki. We do Ferrari, I'm money do jalopy. That's majestic. I was a Rari in Abu Dhabi. My baby wanna party. She take a licking set at just like teriyaki. Right, people, thank you all for tuning in in today's podcast and video. I have my guest today, and his name is Fortune. Fortune, thank you so much for joining thank me today. Me, boss. Why don't you tell everybody just a quick one or two minutes about yourself? Me, myself, I come from Blanchard Town. I've been making music since I was, well, writing music since I was about 13. Making music properly since I was about 13. I do different types of music. I don't stick to one thing. And mm. yeah, don't sleep on me because I'm coming for right. everything. This now, I see, I haven't known you for quite a while now. Probably. Um, maybe two or three months yeah, uh, we know each other. Now, yeah. now I've really, when I first met you, I I really click on you because um, it's not like I've listened to all your music and it's not the music that I really like. It's just something about you. Like I know you're a real hustler. Yeah, I hear that. I've seen I listen to your music and you have. Win, we're already in 2019. And how many how many EPs have you dropped? No, no EPs, but a lot of singles. And EPs, what I'm working. Okay, so you drop what three or four already? You dropped one last uh, in May. Oh, we May. Sorry, we yeah, May. Yeah, we May. I dropped one. You dropped one March. Or, Ma March. Oh, March. Yeah, and yeah. when's your next one? When's your next one coming out? Hopefully, the end of June. That's gonna be your next music video. I think. So, like, like that's my point. Like, you still. You, how old are you? You're only sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, just 16 this year. You're only sixteen, and you're dropping, you're dropping hits. M months after months. Now, how did you come across the whole rap, the, the whole hip hop? How did you get into it? Like, when, when did you find out? Like, right, at, like, I have a good talent in oh, rapping. It was like, um, it was for a stupid reason. I was like around twelve. No, no, no. I was like eleven or ten. Right. And um, I would just really wanted to be a cool kid at the time. So I, I was the kid that would go on YouTube and search how to be cool in school with um, friends, whatever it was. Do and you know I didn't start? I think all the, we all go through that phase. Yeah. And <laughs> Don't you, oh, I really wanted it for myself. So I looked at this one YouTube video from a YouTuber that I liked at the time in any way. And, um, well, what's it? Um, we share his name now? I think his name, he changed it. His name used to be I Sexy, but now it's Kevin okay. Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And um, in the video, he was just, he was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a serious video, but I was taking it seriously because I wanted it right. so bad. Right, okay. Man. At the end, he said that you have to rap if you want to be the coolest guy because only the coolest guys can rap. And I couldn't really? rap. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I'm not cool anymore, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cool. Um, it was like, yeah, so after he said that, I was completely convinced that he just knew everything. So I started teaching myself how to rap this sermon that's why i think um i think in my case it was more hard work than talent because oh, okay t i feel like talent is something that slightly comes naturally mm -hmm. whereas with me i had to start from scratch completely okay like comparing my first rap song to what i'm doing now the, the, so, the some of the lyrics insane. you um they i can only found one on google i, f I think i forgot the name of it anyway and uh, do you know how yesterday i was oh it was a uh, bronson yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah yes how did you come up with those lyrics do you um do you like Eminem on the bus and writing oh. a piece of paper or are you taking a shower usually, and you're like, this would be a good idea? Um, it usually depends on the situation at hand. So usually with my, I'm, I'm, I'm like an emotional writer. Cause if I right. write, if I write when I'm not in the mood to write, then it's going to be forced down. That won't be my best material. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Whereas with Bronson, it was um, the start of 2019 and I just got really, really, really tired of feeling like I plateaued when it came to music. Right, so you want to try something? Yeah, exactly. So okay. I wanted to try. That's why, take the hook course, for example, the pre-hook, for example. That mm. When I say, remember we were talking about this yesterday, we said, they've tied me up with ropes, they've put me down and tackled me, they've played me off a clown with that, without violence, different and I thought that was real. Yeah, no, 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 it's not. And <laughs> <laughs> Someone hired you? Yeah. Um, That's kinky. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Um, yeah, so it was. You know, I did that me. stuff, right? You know. Nah, nah. Would you want to be? Not while my mum's gonna be listening to this podcast. But. <laughs> we'll scratch it out. Um, yeah, it was just me trying to kind of release myself of all the tension I hmm. built up on myself over the last two years, especially with music, because 2018 was a really, really mad year musically and creatively. So much stuff happened was supposed to happen that didn't happen, and okay yeah so do you know here's what here's my views on stuff i think all the, every every single artist 
their first album or their first hits or even not just artists just anybody their first time doing something like for example my first time doing a podcast yeah that my first episode is my f- one of my best my best topic would you say one of the f- one of the first hits that you drop was something that really resonate with with you most definitely yeah 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 yeah, yeah and yeah. What, what was the first one about <sighs> first one was like it's just because that's the f- that's the one thing that's on your head like it, because yeah. um if you look at the great i don't know like uh, probably Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift there if you listen back to the first hit yeah pst, i'm not well, i don't know what the first hit is but it's i'm sure it's somewhere yeah. it like is very really connect with them probably like Taylor Swift probably had her first uh, heartbreak and that's that's how mm. she came across she started yeah, yeah, this yeah, hit yeah, so so what about yourself what's it your was, what was your first I think it track? was first year we always do this thing you know up in Driocht the theater by Blanchetown shopping center yeah yeah. yeah 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 so my school always did the school talent shows there and it usually does really really well and I was the first rapper in a couple of years that they had seen audition I auditioned the audition went really well I got in Right. They matched me with a six-year girl who was a singer. It's so a she six-year-old was, girl. Well, no, six-year, oh, six six-year year. girl. <laughs> and um, yeah, she's in college now. She's in college now. Yeah. And we did some. We I wrote my verses. She did the chorus. And I remember, I was the last act of that night. Mm-hmm. And all my friends were in the were were in the audience, and they knew I was last because obviously if I hadn't gone before anyone else, then right. I'm the last one. And they knew he would. The announcer was hinting towards it being me, and then I could hear little screams. And the way it was set up was I was supposed to walk out after the song started right. to start rapping, and the second I walked out, I heard the loudest screams to the point where I laughed on the mic. I was so happy. It's a, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it, yeah. Oh, it, the second that happened, I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. There's nothing else I'd rather do. And that's what fuels me. And since since after that, have you been on a stage or yeah, have you performed? Yeah, um, I performed in 2016 at a Spring Break Festival. But this year, after I drop my EP, hopefully I can set up a, a show for myself where I'm headlining. Right. Yeah. And so, where do you wait, like what? You see all all those EPs, all those singles that you've been dropping. What do you hope? What do you hope to get in out of it? Um, like you just want to put out uh, singles and hopefully get signed by someone. You're trying to impact people. Like what's what's your main reason behind all this? I think at this stage, when I was younger, it used to be just wanting to get signed right get signed and they, while that's still the case okay yeah of course yeah, um, yeah I think now the older I get the more mature I get I'm trying to send a bit more of a significant message right because I feel like at this stage I feel like personally if there's no meaning in music then it's not genuine do you know right. what I mean I someone's you. doing it just to do it do you know I'm really glad you said that because w- this this question I'm going to ask you I, um, I, 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 like I can't wait to ask you this okay Low, many artists or just anybody, any YouTuber, any po- podcaster, they, they just want to put out loads of volume, as many as they can get. Yeah. Would, would you rather on quality or quantity? Ah, uh, okay. I actually have something to say on this as well. Um, so you said you want to impact people. So yeah. you want to make, you, are, you aim, are you aiming for, uh, for perfection or just want to make as many as you can, just get out as many music as you can and then I think hopefully just just wish that one one it is going to impact people i think similar to perfection but i'm okay with not getting perfection okay because i know i know each song is going to be better than the last one right do you know what i mean so it's 100%. like yeah yeah i like for, for me personally every everything that i make every instagram thing every instagram picture every podcast i'm like this next one is going to be it's going to be it's better it's, than, it's last, better than one. last one I, yeah. I keep saying that and i'm guessing you have the same feeling yeah, as well definitely, yeah definitely definitely and um, one other thing as well do you think starting out was the hardest part or to keep going is the hardest part to keep going to keep going i was about to say that yeah, as well because do you also feel like when you yeah. start that's all your motivation yes driven into it. yeah it's, exactly uh, like i'm uh, do you know uh, now i'm thinking i think every single person that i'm not i may be wrong now but starting off yes it is hard you need courage you yeah. like you, you don't yeah, know if yeah. people's gonna Most like definitely. you or not but now you ha- when you have to keep that consistency on you now you up you're up against other people as well now see like you you, you don't want to be competitors to other people you want to make your own you want to stay in your own lane do yeah. your own stuff yeah but then you got 
people uh, you got other people coming behind you as well and so I think you want to keep up and try to be the best that yeah, you can be exactly yeah. and I feel like if you're doing something like this where there is competition you need to acknowledge that there's competition because I feel like you're not gonna get where you need right. to be yeah. if you can't be the hardest worker in the room so like there was a um there was a Netflix series called The Defiant Ones, right? right? I don't know if you've seen it. It has Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre, and it talks about that. And Jimmy Iovine said something that really resonated with me and I could relate to. He said he was the guy that had to work harder than the guy next to him just to be like the guy next right. to him. And then to work harder to be better than the next guy, than the guy next to him, he had to kill him. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And I yeah. feel like 100%. at this stage, um, 100%. Yeah, I'd, yeah. Be, I'd yeah. be too content with what I'm getting if I don't set out for hunger set out for killing do you know what I mean it's always it's always yeah. to stay just a little bit behind just so you have that hunger in you exactly, yeah absolutely yeah. it's the same thing I tell all my athletes as well it's okay to come 7 or 8 yeah. that's going to make you even hungrier exactly because the number one person is going to slack off eventually it's the same story what's that the rabbit and the turtle yeah exactly turtle gets, uh, oh sorry the rabbit gets com- uh, comfortable turtle c- uh, catch on the rabbit yeah so so how how do you feel about all that? Like, do you feel do you feel that pressure going on, or do you want to do you want to take it slow? Or I felt it a lot last year, but this year I'm kind of coming out of it now because okay. I think what it is going back to what you said, quality over quantity. That's not so much the case anymore with music in Ireland. Right. Like keeping it honest, I've seen a lot of artists that I know I'm lyrically better than. My quality comes better. But they would just do bigger numbers in terms of views. They have more attention. I mean? Exactly, yeah. Now, and why, what, why do you think the reason is? Because they hopped on the bandwagon of drill. Drill is a type of rap music that everybody's doing at the minute. What, what, what's drill? Drill, it's like it's like a subgenre when it comes to rap, right, and it resi- right. and it comes from UK. So is, oh, is, is that one they rap really fast? Yeah. There's, so there's a really really fast flow. There's um a specific type of beat you would find with right, it okay. yeah and um it's sick don't get it twisted it's amazing and um big ups to everybody who does it then um i think where i differentiate is because i'm a different type of artist and i hadn't blown up already so like back in 2018 i did a song called so famous around summer this song the views crept up so fast so far yeah. it was it so was, famous, so it was crazy that's so famous too there was okay. one before that called so famous oh, right, okay. yeah, yeah so there's gonna be a so famous tree in the future <laughs> if it if. really depends yeah okay. but um so i woke up no it got a thousand views in about 15 minutes and then i will i went to bed um i got a call from one of my friends saying your song's on 10,000 views and this was while I was sleeping. This, it was just mad how it was working. And then the next day, it was 12,000. Next night, it was 20,000. Then give it a week, it's on 65,000 views. Now, I made a mistake when it came to copyright and they had to flag it and take it down. Shit. Yeah. And when I tell the heartbreak I felt, this, I think that altered the rest of my 2018. And because I just got too comfortable with having all those numbers. But I think now where it comes to quality over quantity, like the music video for that was terrible. The audio mm. for that was terrible, but right. it still did good just because it was catchy, do you know what I mean? And um, now I think I'm more content with having my 3,000 views, my 2,000 okay. views, but good quality music, do you know what I mean? Because people who listen to it know that my quality is good. Okay. And I, like, I've already been and done the 65,000 views, the 20,000 views, the 10,000 views. I've done it already, so I don't need to go back to that, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not mm-hmm. going to... You're not gonna force it. Like exactly. try to be, try to be someone else that you're not. You it's like taking it. over something that I've already taken over okay. and moved on from. That's yeah. backtracking. Yeah. Now you, I've seen your Instagram. You have about what ten thousand, ten thousand, around ten thousand, uh, two thousand followers. Two thousand followers. Yeah. Yes. But when I went to Spotify, most of your tracks had the what? You, I'm sorry. You, you, uh, your, 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 your Spotify channel have two thousand listeners monthly. Yeah. Two th- monthly? Something like that, yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll put that in the video. Okay, we'll right, see. sounds good. I, mean, I may be wrong, okay. but something like that. I was checking out yesterday. Yeah. You have some attention going on. Right. Now, now do you yeah. know much about attention? You're only, you're only 16. Um, because that's, f- f- for me, attention is the most important thing in in just in the ecosystem loves attention. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not like you have to you, you have to know when, when is the right attention. Yeah. Um, if I were you, here's what I would do personally. If I were you, I would actually try to 
contact other people on Instagram. Yeah, and that's what I'm always S- trying to do. This some year. vloggers do that as well. Yeah. Tell other vloggers, Irish vloggers, I don't know, um, play your mu- play your music in like in their yeah, video. Um, yeah, definitely. And that's the thing. I'm only learning to do this. this yeah, year. And you're only 16. Yeah, like that. You know, that's one thing. Like you're 16 and I'm 20. You're four years younger than me. And this one thing I'm struggling as well is patience. Yeah, I know everybody exactly. keeps patience, patience. But yeah, but one thing I've learned is there's this. Um, I'm sure everybody knows him. Uh, the Gary V. I don't know if you know him. Gary Vaynerchuk. He says. He says. Uh, macro speed. M- micro speed. Macro pit. Uh, macro patience okay. basically what that means every day day to day you work as hard as you can but in the long term you be patient as yeah. patient as you can get and so just every day and that 100% makes sense just every day you're grinding you're hustling you're putting all the effort but still on the mm-hmm. long term you're patient yeah. you're sitting down and wait for it yeah. and just that thing just that comment and really res- I know it's hard for myself because uh, it's Maybe it's just maybe it's not it's not just me. I'm sure every, uh, every, not everybody. Most people feel the same as well. We want things really fast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, you 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 drop a hit and you expect it to have. I'm, well, I'm not sure about you, but you you want the video. You yeah. want the track to, to, to exactly. be good, and you want one million in one day. Yeah. Do you know you want yeah, that that viral most hit? Definitely. But um, so going back to all your tracks, and you mentioned that there has to be something going on in your life to make those hits so every track has a meaning behind yeah, each of them yeah they actually do which which one of your track that uh, that you feel you need to make that you feel most resonate with you um like which track did you go like which phase have you gone through to make that track oh so famous too so, so famous, famous too. too was probably my most important track just for me myself and what's like what's the whole what's the whole concept of the um, so famous too i think with my music with seeing how do i how do i phrase this um okay so after so famous one had so many views so fast i would instantly expect that off of other tracks okay. and even if other that, ex- that's my yeah. that's my point i was exactly, saying exactly yeah, yeah. yeah so i was dropping good songs after it just because they weren't doing the same amount of numbers i would right. instantly be disappointed and this is when this is like the turn the time period of november and december and now these were probably the worst two months of my life I had to there was so much going on mentally that I could barely tell anybody about I just need I needed to get so much help I got referred from my school to different therapists and um, well, you went therapist yeah 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 and this is the thing that I really want to shed light on as well when it comes to stuff like that you save so much time talking about it and because I, I was a really stubborn guy at the time and I was just like no I don't need to talk to anyone I'll be fine I can do it myself this isn't how it needs to work and I was just wasting time and all it did in November was catch up with me because that had been going on since So Famous was taken down but it's, I just delayed it for so long that it ruined my summer it ruined the start of fifth year it ruined friendships relationships and everybody was suffering from it because everybody just cared and I was shutting everybody out whereas with So Famous too, it was really just my outlet from this headspace so what 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 would, what would you have done differently we're looking back um, looking I don't think I would want to change anything about that time period because I wouldn't be the same mm. if that didn't happen mm. because that's the thing with my music it's more more than anything it's like it's my therapy it's my okay. therapist right. and putting my emotions or from pen to paper, oh, making that's it the rhyme. Way you yeah, that's the that's my best way of expressing myself. And what I love most about this music thing is people who will take time, listen to my lyrics, analyze it, and then come back and ask me questions. Because after that, my emotions are already out there. It's just the people who take the extra minute to pay the extra attention to my material. Mm. Those are the people that I appreciate. Those are the people I'm making music for. Right. Okay. See what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So so famous too. It was me <laughs> talking about people like me. So it was like um, sequel because I consider myself an outcast in the music game because I'm so versatile. Nobody gen- like nobody expected me to do a drill track because Bronson right. was a drill track, and nobody expected me to do that. Nobody expected it to be good, but it actually came out okay. Nobody expected me to collab, and I've got collaborations coming up. Nobody expected me to do an EP. Nobody expected me to do a podcast or talk about mental health. 
but there's just this is the bigger picture and i think it goes back to what you said about patience it's all about working towards the bigger picture you see what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. since you mentioned that it's crazy that you you, you don't know where you're going to be in the next few months and i know you can plan everything but i but i I don't think planning um, fix everything. It's more about just acting. Exactly. Like follow action. exactly courage. Just f yeah. Just follow your gut. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like I've n never in my life will I ever make a podcast. Exactly what you said. You you never thought you're gonna make music, yeah. and here you are making a podcast about yeah. music. And so, one thing I'm gonna say um, as well is, let's let's fast forward. Okay. Five years five years from now okay where do you see yourself five i know that's years. a stupid question i hate people not necessarily not necessarily um no just to, just, just to have a rough uh, i'm picture. happy you asked because now that you've asked me that i feel like i've just been working towards something aimlessly do you know what i mean mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. i like obviously okay micro speed macro patient yeah do you know what I mean? yeah um five years or maybe ten, i'm not sure five okay. years i'll be 21 so like I know it's a very hard question. Like I'm not expecting an answer, but it's just I'm just trying to get you some, something to think about. Do you know what I mean? An icon. I see myself being an icon. Totally. Well, you hardly been an icon so far, mate. To a bigger scale than. To a bigger Thank scale. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, um, is there anything that you want to share uh, with people? Anything that's on your mind that you want to share with everybody? Actually, um, one of the questions someone asked me to talk about on this was yeah. I, I actually have a lot of people asking me how to go about making music and writing lyrics and all of that and the best, I could, the best advice I could give is just do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the next five minutes. Just do it. Because we're sitting here doing this. We might not make it to the next five minutes of our lives. And we don't even realize it yet. We think we're going to go home, you're going to edit this, I'm going to promote it, and then it's going to go out and everybody's going to love it. Whereas we might not even make it that far, do you know what I mean? I, that's, that's the mindset I'm trying to carry this year is live each of my day as if it was my last one so I could live it to the best of my ability. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, do you know what I've noticed why, why people don't do that? Hmm. It's just fear of other people's judgment. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's afraid of people's judgment. I'm still afraid of people's judgment to a certain point. But I yeah, think but the old like like for me, I was so I don't know if you heard my story, but I I I, I always say this in every podcast. Yeah, I please, do. please share. Back in school, I, again, I want to be the cool kid, but it's just it's surprised people back in school now see me and they're like, "Who are you?" Do you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's funny just how things change. I've never. It's, like when I ask you where do you see yourself in five years, if that was so I'm twenty nine, if that was the fifteen year old me, I'm probably gonna say in college, sitting yeah. in the back of a class, yep. doing homework. Same, you know with me, I mean? like, same with me. It's crazy how things turn out in life. And one thing I've learned is you have to surround. Like, what do you think? Uh, what, what do you think of this statement? You have to surround with people with like positive people. I'm so glad you. Okay, wait, wait. wait. I'm so glad you said that because I was saying this to my sister's friend. Yes, um, when we were on a Facetime call, I think how you live your life your aspects on life and your mindset all comes from your environment 100 percent. because 100 percent. it's like take for example if i was training to be a footballer for my career i'm gonna surround myself with other footballers you know what i mean i'm not gonna surround myself with people who i'm not gonna surround myself with drug dealers for example do you know what i'm trying to say if i want to be an accountant i'm gonna surround myself with people who are good in school people who study i'm not gonna surround myself with people who will just go out smoke yeah. steal do you know what i'm trying to say it's yeah. like yeah i've noticed surrounding myself with people who have the same goals as me and motivates me in a different way because we mm -hmm. all share our goals mm -hmm. we have the same aspect on life yep. do you know what i mean and it's like that's one of the steps when it comes to doing what you want to do even if it's not music even if it's acting school business whatever it is just you just try, yeah. have to surround yourself with people yeah. who can support you and people who have the absolutely. same vision yeah absolutely now looking back to school like but i'm i'm sure you that that's that's one of one of the reasons back in school when you were when you were saying you weren't one of the cool kids that's because everybody in the class were like being a douchebag and you have to be this you have to be that then, but then when you grow up and surround yourself with people that exactly what you just said yeah. now you start seeing things in in, yeah. in, in, in a different way you know they bring the best out of you and yeah. that's one thing i'm really proud of like I, sometimes people, like i feel i don't deserve this 
in a way. Oh, oh yeah, I mean? same, most definitely. You're like, what did I do most to deserve definitely. these people? And it's not like, it's not how many views I get, it's not how many things I can buy or whatever. It's just the people that's in my life that's really impact me the most. And I want it, to, it's hard, you, you want to give back. I'm sure you feel the same way as well. You want to give back, but it's just so much, you don't know how, like, they can't understand how much they have changed your life. And you want to, you want to give something exactly. back, but it's just, it's not enough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Most do, you feel, do you feel the same way as well? Yeah, and um, it, it's one of those things she said to me, she said, um, she goes, she can't leave these people behind just because their life isn't set up the way hers is and they don't have the same mentality. I'm not, I'm not saying cut everybody off who doesn't have a role. I'm just saying- Yeah, just so, limit your time with them. I'm just limit saying, exactly, and surround yourself with people who have the same goals as mm. you because those goals will start to seem more realistic. Do you know what I mean? And, and then she said, there are some people that will say, um, God has set out a certain life for them. God set out a certain life for everybody, most definitely. I feel like God put me here as my purpose to share a specific message through my music. Through your music, and, absolutely. And um, then, Like, it, it's, it's very fascinating. You're only 16, and that concept of self-awareness, I always talk about self-awareness, just, just, just to know who you are as a human being. You found what you're really passionate about, and a lot of people are not. Like, I'm, for me personally, I'm still looking, okay? Yeah. I've seen it in everyday little things. I met you two, two months ago. Like, you've been in the gym for a long time. I've seen you, but I don't talk to you. Yeah. It's just these little things that a little conversation can yeah, go a yeah, long yeah. way. Yeah, most a li definitely. A little, I don't know, a little caring can go into a long way as well. Yeah. And it's, it's just, that's, that's the thing with me in the gym. I'm not trying to build clientele. I'm not trying to get as many people in my class. I'm trying to build relationship. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because those relationships do make a difference. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, back to your point, that's why, I'm, that's why you're trying and that's why I'm trying to tell everybody yeah. as well just the people that you that you surround with them there might be yes he might be your boy or she might be a girl and all that but she, if she's dragging you down just it's gonna it's gonna wind up one of two ways yeah. it's gonna be you're gonna wind up like them or you're gonna get mentally drained of them yeah. and i i'm not saying i know everything but you'll find out for yourself because yeah, this, you is happen for this yourself. has happened for yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. you can find out for yourself come back to this comment and say fortune you're wrong i'm not mentally drained i'm not tired of them i'm not saying like that. i won't hmm. say okay sorry for making the statement but that's just my outlook on it Do you know what i mean and one thing it's like it's like what i said see um they said people like to leave their faults and situations in the hands of fate or in the hands of god some people say god doesn't like me the world doesn't work in my way but god blessed you with the hands legs eyes mouth and mentality to take control of your own life god works through you exactly yeah if you haven't written music up till this point and you want to it's nobody's fault but yours you have the pen you have maybe the it's god trying trying to send you a message exactly. trying to do something you just gotta get up and do it because yeah it's like i said at the end of last year last year everybody was kind of testing the waters finding out what works for them this year everybody knows what they're doing so there's no time to there's obviously time to plan but there's no time to doss around and waste your time do you know what i mean you have to be smart with the 24 hours you have here but you know like, sometimes sorry, sorry to no 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 you're grand sometimes i wish there's more time in the day so do i and it's you know what I mean? no like I'm, I'm saying once it feels good though it feels good it feels like again i'm in the month of ramadan i I'm, i was i was fasting two weeks ago yeah. and I, I fast for a week i should be fasting today but i'm not <laughs> <laughs> but um no that one week it shows me how how precious food is you know what i mean i'm going 18 hours without food and water yeah. and it's, it, it's same principle same principle apply where, where am i going with this same principle applied to those little little things little things as well you don't appreciate the little mm -hmm. things around you until you don't have it yeah, most definitely whether it's people whatever it's out of something do you know what i mean you you're grateful for having these little stuff with you yeah. And yeah, there's so many opportunities and good things around you. Like, like what what I've learned is, the thing that you are looking, the thing that you've been searching for whole for whole, the whole of your life, has been right by your side the whole yeah. time. Yeah, that's just the thing. change, 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 change your, change your perspective. Like I like that, those pictures on Facebook, where there's two. It's one picture, but you see two things. Yeah. Like sometimes you see yeah. the old face, sometimes yeah. you see the cup. That's that's perspective. Do you know what I mean? They actually just have, change have, change your perspective. Most ever, I have a story that I was talking to my friend about it, and he said the best thing to do is to 
you get your emotions out of the way and find out what you're going to do next because your time here is short and I said okay here's what I'm going to do I'm not someone who shies away from looking for help not at this stage because I had already been seeking help after this time and um, this is the start of the year and I'm telling myself okay this happened for a reason God did this at the start of the year for a reason because leading up to the end of 2018 into the start of 2019 I was so unmotivated I didn't know what I was going to do this year and this kind of my reaction towards this situation kind of steered me in the right direction so um not that I'd broken up with someone, but I found a video on my recommended saying my breakup story. And there was a story, this guy told the story of two guys who both reacted different ways to their breakup. One was obvious, you're obviously going to be upset either way, but one took action and one let the world did what it wanted to do. Do you know what I mean? And it was like, so let's say, let's call him John, for example. So John sat at home. He was really, really unmotivated, obviously, because an important person was missing from his life. So he would stay at home, take a lot more days off work to pick himself back up. He just got kind of lazy. And because he took so much time off work, he ended up losing his job. You lose your job, you can't keep the lights on, you can't supply the food for yourself. And then he spent a long time just trying to pick up the pieces that he broke by himself. And then there was Tony, for example, right? Tony, he took as much time as he needed to cry, let his emotions out, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then he took the action. So one thing I really believe in is self-improvement. Self-improvement, that's, that's the best cure for a breakup or a broken heart, self-improvement. I always say to people, I say, you can invest your time in the gym, you can pick up a new hobby, you can find a new religion, you could pick up a new hobby, you could do anything you want to do, just make use of your time and develop your self-awareness and your self-care and your self-growth. And- 100%. Um, uh, yeah, and this is when I knew I needed to change how I was going about my life. So take gym, for example. I'd never pre-prepped. I'd never took my diet seriously. January, I started doing this. Then, only then, I started seeing results in the gym. I started taking more time writing more music because I had the more spare time in my life. I was looking at different inspirations and my music got better. This is where Brunson came in the picture. And I was surrounding myself with people who could support me through the process. That's when I realized if I yeah. surround myself with good people, I'm going to live a good life. Yeah, self-improvement is the best thing you can do. Exactly, it's the cure to yeah. anything, anything. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 like, we're on the camera right now, yeah? Yeah. I cheated, I cheated in my exams. You cheated your exams? I'm cheating my exam skill. Really? Not leaving, sir, but other exams. I cheated my exam. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not sitting here saying I'm proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, if I do those exams again, I'm not gonna cheat because I know I suck at it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's and again, that comes with self, self development and self improvement because I know, do you know, school is another is another fun is another fun topic as well to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the whole school. Don't go don't like go to school, go to school get a degree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's a that's a different conversation. But I just the whole concept. What I'm trying to say is. You have to be you have to be aware of yourself, know what you're good at and know what you're bad at. In in, in a way where you can improve yourself. For example, the best way for me to get more knowledge or information is through listening. So that's why hence the podcast. Yeah. I don't read books. I have a shelf of books at home. I spent hundred euros of, of books on books, right? Because every, everybody say read books, yeah. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to yeah. get more information. I want to improve my knowledge. So mm -hmm. I bought books. I can't read. I can read books, but it just I get lost from reading books. There's so yeah. many words. It's yeah, just yeah. Balls, oh, balls up my mind. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not gonna sit here and not try and don't get all these information. I'll try and find another way where I can get the information that's that suits me. Do you know what I mean? That's why I start listening to podcasts. And just trying to find a way. Don't stop just because something is not working. Try and find a different way that's gonna that's that's gonna work for you. Do you agree with me on that? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. And listening helps. Me. I'm an active listener. Um, I can't yeah. read. And I can't. Learn. Do you know yeah, what I mean? like yeah, for yeah. a book, I I I zone out. Like like I'm a cat. Like I fall asleep. If there was exactly there's yeah, no yeah, music, yeah. very peaceful in here. Less than five minutes, I'll uh, fall like asleep. A light. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one thing I do want to shed, like me and my friends were talking about this yesterday because um, my friend had gotten out of a, a relationship and he didn't cry, but it was a long relationship. So we were all surprised. We were like, did you genuinely love the girl that you're with? And he was like, yes, I'm just not a cry. And he was proud of himself for not crying. And I need to say something to the boys listening to this and watching this. Be, don't be so quick to stick out your cojones, 
puff out your chest, put your chin up and say, I don't cry when it comes to certain situations because you'll notice sooner or later, everything you ignore catches up with you. If you ignore studying for an exam, you try cheat, it'll catch up with you. You can get a good grade, but once you get to a stage where you can't cheat anymore, then your true gaze are gonna come out. If you ignore a proper workout routine, a proper diet, you're not gonna get a six pack, you're not gonna get a nice chest, you're not gonna get a good muscle. Mm. It's gonna catch up with you, you're gonna put on more fat than muscle. You might even stay the same, I don't know how your body works, but what you don't, what you do in the dark comes to the light. And that's one thing I've learned, and that's something my sister actually shed light on when it comes to me and the only thing I've learned this year mostly is it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to accept you have emotions because you're not a robot and you need to act on your head and not your emotions. Don't think with your emotions, think with your head. And because thinking with your emotions will get you in a lot of trouble. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, man, just. Um yeah, everything you just said, you just said everything. <laughs> Is there anything, actually, they wanted me to ask you what your opinion on... Yeah, go on. Yeah, so take mental health, for example, right? So we both have foreign parents, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, one situation that I saw commonly in my Hustle Talk episodes were people would have, would see symptoms of depression, would have suicidal thoughts, but bring it up to their parents. Because foreign parents don't believe in that mentality as much just because they don't understand it, they would get in more trouble than they would get help. So, I, I, I had that conversation before. Yeah, so I've had. He, here's what I'm going to say. Go, go back to your grandparents. Look how your grandparents raise your parents. Mm -hmm. Are your parents doing the same thing to you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, like sometimes my, my yeah. dad, my dad is the one that let, like he's the one like to give advice, but doesn't act on the advice himself. Mm, okay. Do you know what I mean? I hear that. Yeah. He's the one. He's fixed right. Yeah. He'd be sitting at the dinner table, but you do this. Talk to you, blah, blah, blah. So it's, I can't, do you know what I mean? Just yeah, do this, do that. But he that. doesn't do anything himself. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't take his own mm -hmm, advice. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to the people. I mean, uh, don't listen to advice. Look up, look up to the people who's giving the advice. Mm -hmm. Are they doing the stuff that they saying? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, I'm like that. Like for me, the more I gain knowledge, like the more I don't want to say smart, but the more wiser I start to feel I'm coming, the more I'm just gonna. Like, just watch everything. I don't want to say anything. I just want to let everybody and do their own notice, thing. You, you know what it is. I'm just sitting back and I'm watching them. It's just fascinating. And it's yeah. the same thing with me as well. I stopped um, I stopped involving Involve, myself. Involve, yeah. I'm, just I'm into drama. Be, because you yeah. know the end result is going to exactly. happen. It's, it's like you watch Infinity War, right? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like Dr. Strange yeah. sitting <laughs> over there. And you know, well, you know what the future is going to be because you've seen it before. Yeah. And you, wanna, you don't want to get involved oh, in it. Oh, mad. That's a good analogy. That's a good analogy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like the thing is, there's always someone to talk to. There's always. There's always, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even always. if it's, even if it's, it's not. It doesn't have to be professional Mate, help. Just there is seven billion people in exactly, the world. Exactly. Exactly. There and is you have, seven billion. You people have minimum, minimum two friends. Minimum one friend. Not even friends. You, you never, you, you, you never know that lady at at the reception. She might be the one. Do you know what I mean? You, you never know. Again, remember? back back coming to that earlier point. We met two months ago. Didn't know we we're gonna do a podcast together, no. but here we are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Someone someone can change your life and only take that one person. Do you know what I mean? He, exactly. She can work at the cafe, he can I don't know, he can work in a Tesco or, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Just most definitely. And show yourself, open yourself to, to the world. Do you remember? After my gym session, when me, you, and that girl sat down and just had a really long conversation, yeah. before, while I finished my workout before she started hers, I was in the, in the worst. Wait, wait, in the gym. In the gym. Okay, yeah. that one, yeah, yeah. I was in the worst mood when we started that conversation, and my my mentality was just get my workout done and go home. That was it. But I'm so happy I stayed for that conversation because we just it's one it's like what you said, a simple conversation with the right people can turn into a really deep conversation. Yeah, that yeah. Can change it. For me, yeah. I yeah, sorry about it. Yeah, but no, go ahead, go ahead. Talking, just talking shit for a while and then slowly deep down into a deep conversation. That's, that's my biggest thing ever. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. You, like, especially at night, we, yeah, like, me and my friends just chill, we talk shit and then slowly we go into a deep conversation mm. and it is one of the best feeling ever. It is most definitely, most definitely. Andrew. You try sex, have a deep conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry what you were saying. Say. Um, yeah, about um, that conversation in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I was just saying, it's so crazy how just someone saying, hi, how are you? Or the right compliment. Just someone saying the right thing at the right time can just change your whole oh, yeah. outlook on oh, life yeah. so fast. All right, yeah. Absolutely, And man. trust me, trust I'm me. Getting, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. It's, it's so mad how life works. Like, please, please, please do me a favor. If you're watching this and you know mentally there's something going on with you, good, bad, happy, sad, please don't take another minute. Stop watching this. Oh, finish it. Finish, finish watching it. it. Finish then, it, like it, comment. <laughs> then <laughs> um, talk to someone because yeah. I've, done, I've done the keeping it to myself working on it myself and I've done the seeking help and talking to someone you already know which one works better for me for me anyway but I don't I don't think keeping it to yourself and ignoring it is going to do any help because like it's like what I said what you would maybe it does to life. I, I don't know personally some some people think it does but deep down again I don't know what's going on you never know what's going on mm. in someone's head you can have the biggest smile on your face but deep down you don't know what's going on you know you can fake you, you can fake you that know, thing mind over matter yeah, 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 I think yeah. I might be wrong in what I'm saying, but I feel like some people who might ignore their emotions and say everything's okay, everything's okay, everything's okay, the more you say it, the more realistic it'll start to seem. So then it's always mind over matter with certain people. Do you know what I mean? There are just some people that don't have the, a strong enough mentality to have the mind over, ma mind over matter mindset. So I needed to seek help because I'm not a mind over matter person. I need to address the matter because I can't convince myself mm. that everything's okay. Mm. Not everybody has the mentality to do that. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what, uh, the thing is for me, what, what I learned, here's, here's how you deal with self-awareness. Mm. Okay. I may be wrong now, but here's the way I deal with it personally. Mm -hmm. If you have, if, like sometimes if I go to... Um, it, if I have the same feeling in my body, you have to recognize that feeling. Yeah. Right, this is happening, okay? Yeah. He, he, oh. he, here's what I do. I go back, I backtrack years ago. When did I start feeling that? When did I start having that same feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay? So for example, yeah. for me, one, one, one feeling that I really hate it's actually very funny and weird as well. <laughs> it's just being when you have a boss. I'm not talking about a manager, just like a boss. In class, in classroom, if there was a teacher in front, I'm going to feel really intimidated. I don't know why. Okay. When we got the new manager in the gym, I had the same feeling as well. I don't know oh, why, okay. but we talk a lot. Like, we're really friends. If we talk outside, outside the building, we're friends. We're cool. But if we're in a classroom or if we have a meeting, right, loads of people are sitting over here and we're looking at one person. Mm -hmm. I had a course the other day and I, I had the same feeling as well. Like, I had the same feeling back when I was in school. It's just I hate that feeling. Now I'm tracking back to it. Why did why did that hit me in the first place? Why, why am I so anxious with that feeling? Why am I so insecure about that feeling? Yeah. Look, looking back in Mauritius, the way the teachers are are um, they actually if if you get a question, if you get an answer wrong, or if you misbehave, you actually get a slap in the face, or you, you'll get the bell. That's what happened to my school. Mm -hmm. Now looking back, this is why I'm starting to have these feelings okay. because I feel. I feel if I do something wrong in that meeting environment, in that school, in that classroom environment, mm -hmm. something's going to happen to me. And don't get me wrong, I used to get the hell, the shit kicked out of me by the teacher. <laughs> and so it's just these little feelings. Once you start becoming aware of those feelings, yeah. do you know what I mean? Then you can yeah. just click it away. So anyway, that's how I deal with my own self-awareness feelings anyway. I backtrack yeah, it. Yeah. When did I stop? When did I have those feelings? And I keep... and I'm, and I move on. And you know, uh, again, I back, noticed, back, yeah. back to the, uh, back to the Avenger. It's like going to pass, find, find a <laughs> little stone. It's mad how the Avengers relate to life so much. <laughs> oh find a little stone, bring it back, and then put back the stones. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And turn it into an old man like Captain America. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's it. And guys, really, that's nah, that's a good analogy, isn't it? Yeah, it's sick. It's sick. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> bring the stones back. Come back in like an old man, yeah. And um, well, yeah, what I noticed is um, a lot of therapists, the first thing they'll ask you is, where do you think this started? Exactly. There's actually, I need to introduce, I need to, I need to introduce you to her. She, uh, she walks. I mean, she, uh, she trains in the gym. She's a, 
a therapist uh, uh, as well. So every time she comes to the gym, I always go to her. We talk for a little while. Yes, she, she, so she, she said exactly what you just said. Every time you go to a therapist, he or she will backtrack you. She will start asking you questions. She said you're the one that's going to come up with the answer, mm -hmm. not her. She, she's not going to say, he or she's not going to say something that's going to click right away. Yeah. It's, that's how you talk to people. You slowly ask them questions. Start backtracking. Where have you start, start feeling the same feeling? And that's how you attack it. Yeah. Go yeah. Uh, it's just, I don't really have much to say on that because it's true. It's true. And, backtrack um, it. Where do, when did you start you feeling that to, feeling? You have to. That's why sometimes I feel like, um, and this is another thing that some boys aren't so cool with either, with amongst us boys doing, but one thing I was told to do during my process was document everything. So I, I was given a book, like a diary entry book, and I would document each day. I look at those pages now, and I don't recognize the person that was writing. And someone else said this to me as well, a girl, she's actually in the music business as well. She said when she would write in bad mentalities, she's fine now because she's let those emotions out and she's figured out her way of coming out of that mentality so when she reads back she doesn't recognize the person who's writing and sometimes it would scare the shit out of me some of the stuff yeah. i was writing yeah i'd be like what what happened that was so bad at the time that had me writing like this you know what i mean because looking back at it now it's a good were, thing though good. These, yeah, these things, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, i miss the old days as well i remember i remember when i first got my heartbreak it's, you know, you feel like it's, it's your just, first one. It's, a it's first your first one. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's your first one. No, but here's here's what I'm gonna say. I wish I can go back and thank everybody, even though they were a little, little bitch. But I think it was like, <laughs> just thank you. Just That's the thing. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you feel oh, so humble. Yeah. Like you, even you, you want to go to your yeah. ex and be like, thanks for all. Yeah. Every time I listen to um, the song these days, do you know these days by. Um, uh, Macklemore and yeah. Jessica Klein. Yeah, it's just that song. I just want to go back and you know, like, even though they were a little bitch, a little asshole, mm -hmm. I was like, just thanks, thanks for the memories anyway. And you know, it my made most, me better. <laughs> yeah, you know my most recent track, uh, Rita. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. something very similar. At okay. the time, should I break down the story of? Rita? Go on, yeah, go on, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go, so, go, 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 go. Just track back to about 2017. I um, I, I liked someone for such a long time, but. She was interested in someone else I knew. Okay. And um, that. So really her name was Rhea. No, 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 no. I okay. just, I just, me and my friends always codename these people, okay. so we could speak about them, but they wouldn't know who we're talking okay. about. You know what I mean? Okay. And um, I met this girl. I, I can't, I can't say her name. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say, I can't say her name. Go on. But go um, on. yeah, and she was just um. I just never seen energy like hers before, and I really liked it because she was like she would she kind of set things in motion for me she, like this was around the time you remember the, the, your favorite song of my sister was hustle talk yeah um this was around the time i was talking to her so i was constantly making me she said don't stop writing keep the momentum going Wait, when, when said, was that 2017 okay yeah so this was around summer t yeah it was summertime and um i was just it's like in the song you'll hear me say was summertime deluded wishes praying my bro catches stitches the guy that the other girl liked instead of me mm -hmm. i would just absolutely hate and it was like it was a close friend of mine oh okay, so yeah, i was yeah. like i was like it's I, so i kind of you know i I've, i had the same yeah one of the same yeah. situations right? and um yeah, yeah they were doing their feel, they were doing their thing i just felt like i looked like an idiot in front of everyone because, and people would tell me that they'd be like, you know, he kind of made you look like a mug, made you look like an idiot. I said, look, it is what it is. It is, happy what it is. With it now. She's happy and move on. Yeah. yeah. And then I started talking to this Rita girl and we're just so motivated together because she was, she had, I can't remember the sport that she did, but um, yeah. I'm trying to watch what I say so I don't make it too obvious. Listen, but, um, I'll cut everything out. Just no, no, no. On. That's because, um, um, it's I like, um, say it. It's going to get for you, Steph. I can't, I can't, okay. I can't. I can't right, no worries, right. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to let you take a break. Um, but um, exactly what you said, I had the same thing as well. But the thing is, the reason why what I found out is, again, just true, true all experience. Everything I said is true experience. That mm -hmm. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Exactly, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Keep, Keep that in mind correct. through this yeah. whole video. Yeah. But um, the reason why you, we feel attracted to someone is, they're showing us something that, we really want emotionally or mentally like you said that girl was really motivating you didn't have that that traits back then mm -hmm. and when that girl step up she had the looks she had that mm -hmm. personality yeah. and that's how it clicks yeah. with you do you know and what it mean? instantly looks like your definition of perfection exactly yeah. and that's and she's trying to show you a mirror this is how you should be 
don't go don't Damn. chase don't chase that don't Shit. chase that girl okay try to go after what she's trying to show you right so she's trying to show you this secret within yourself not through her exactly exactly um, that was good it's 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 not just her it's it's all your ex your ex as well do you know what i mean every every person is walking around with a mirror it's yourself it's how you react you know, to, 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 to those people do you know what mm -hmm. i mean it's who you are mm -hmm. like everybody some people like there is positive people in the world i'm sure like like for me everybody is positive but there is a little a little bitch in in in, in, everybody, in everybody do you know what i mean yeah like you can't you can't get a reaction if someone talks shit about you do you know what i mean mm -hmm. you have to know how to you have to be grounded enough to handle you, yourself in that situation so going back to your ex and all that yes she might be a bitch but again what did you learn from it what did mm -hmm. I learn from it? Yeah, well, I'm not um, taking you. Oh, okay, okay. Good yeah, yeah, well, yeah, what yeah. did you learn from it anyway? Um, yeah, so continuing that story, it was like, um, I was so into the energy she gave that I had to, I had to assure, okay, I, this has to be it's, my girl. Yes, yeah. it's like a power. Exactly. Yeah, I need to absorb that I need power. To, I need to, it's like, I can't let this go because I had the idea that I was never going to find this anywhere. Yeah, I Seven know, billion I know people in the world Seven billion, and I wasn't yeah. going to find it yeah, again. Yeah, but, yeah. Now, he, now, in the future, we, like, that's just how a human being works. And we go around, we find people. That, that, that's why going back earlier, saying to that topic, go talk to someone. She or he might, might be the next one. Mm -hmm. And they have this power that you've been looking forward to your whole life. Yeah. Even, even the best, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, maybe the best, Tony Robbins or someone else, they don't know everything. Do you know what I mean? Someone... Someone in this building knows something I don't, and I might be—I might be the greatest, the greatest. I don't know. I might—I might be the most self-aware person in the room. But we can—we always learn some something from someone. Yeah. Just little things. Mm -hmm. You might—you might be the best. I don't know, the smartest person ever, but someone knows something that you don't know. And that's how I. Yeah. And that's just, through the, that's just through experiences. Yeah. You might have experienced stuff I mightn't have experienced, and you might know certain aspects of life that I don't know. Yeah, and just be like, humble. Humility go, goes to. a long way. Humility goes a long way. That's and the thing. That's what I had to keep in mind during this time yeah. period as well. Be open. Be, you don't know anything. You don't know everything as well. I, I just need. I didn't keep my humbleness, and I was just like. Because I was pressurizing her into something she didn't want to be in so much to the point where she was like i don't know what you're saying i don't know why you're talking to me as if you're my girlfriend i don't want to talk mm. to you anymore you're just right. stressing me out then i look and i'm like where did that go wrong so fast you know what i mean then i start getting annoyed i'm like she can't appreciate a good guy when he's here she doesn't appreciate my motivation for her my yeah, girls is the, and it's, it's like, just girls is the way yeah. and it was like i can't even blame her because i've never been so it's like i said in the song as well they ain't never seen man feel pressure to press her and not want to stress her. I'm not usually one to That's good shit irritate, right there, yeah, to irritate someone yeah. till they give me my way. But that was the, buttons, yeah. yeah, that was the only time that I was just I completely lost my common sense. And with that, the only lesson this taught me is I can't let people alter my emotions like that anymore. I just need to keep my level headed mind and yeah. I never take a normal else on the dot ASK. Call me pissed and stubborn. That's how the song goes. All my boys will scream that all 2019 from the rooftops. Oh, that was. <laughs> yeah, right that, there, man. Oh, grand. Yeah, it was just. Oh, thinking back to the type of kid I was then, I felt. I feel so sorry for the way I was before. Uh, don't be, man. Don't be, don't be. Don't Everything be. happens for a reason. Everything though. happens yeah. for a reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, have we touched on everything? Is there anything that we have missed out? Anything that you want to um, share? Any any other stuff? Trying to think, actually. Um, no, I think I think we've covered everything. Do you? Is there anything we missed out on your side? Um, just the main points. Yeah. Just be positive, man. Be positive. Don't be a dick. Actually. It's one more thing. It's one more. It's, I want to end on this. Yeah, as well. come on, I'm come trying on, to. Come on. I had this in my head a minute ago, but I'm trying to remember how to phrase it. Um, hold on, just give me a minute. I'm trying to think. Well, how did I phrase this in my head just a minute ago? Well, someone oh, asked yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to end on this, right? So, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. How, what I get done, 
and what you get done depends on how we treat those 24 hours. So if somebody is doing better than me, that's because they've invested those 24 hours in making sure they do better than me and everybody else, you know what I mean? So then I can't blame anybody else but myself. In this day and age, I said it before, you have to take action, plan, and make sure you're the hardest worker in the room because nobody is taking a rest this year. And that's something I still need to tell myself. If we're gonna do something like this, whether it's podcasts, music videos, school, everybody's working so hard to get where they want to be and the resources are there for us we just need to figure out how to get this shit done because time's not going to wait for us the clock is ticking right now and it all mm-hmm. depends on how i'm actually going to go a different i'm going to go a different direction on okay. this one yes you're all about hustle and everything yeah, yeah, yeah but for me i'm all everything is about happiness okay okay yes you might be happy for for, for what you don't here's what i'm going to say everything you said was right i completely mm-hmm. agree but don't, here's what I don't like, um, try not to push okay, okay. too much, You're do right. you know what I mean? I should have Some said people that too. Yeah, enjoy yeah. the way they are, that's, oh, that's completely fine to you, okay? But don't make it as an excuse. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between happiness and being, and being fulfilled. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like for me, I Could thought, you shed some light on the difference between happiness and being fulfilled? Yes, so yes. What so what does that mean? Exactly, exactly as you. You, you drop, you got 60,000 60, views. Yeah. You were happy. Yeah. Were you fulfilled? No. Nah. Exactly. I joined. I, I joined the gym. I joined athletics. I was happy, and I'm like, what's next now? Do you know what I mean? What's? Yeah. I'm gonna be here, stuck here forever. Yeah, that's happiness. I'm happy. I'm bored though. Yeah. It's happy. Yeah. Oh, good people. Okay. Teaching class. Yeah. Good. Well. So what's next? Do you think happiness is shorter than now, fulfillment? I, I like. Or no, I, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. Okay. I don't want to bullshit you either, okay. but um, but I know I want more. I'm not being greedy, but I just want more. Stay hungry and stay humble. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Now, if that's not your thing, then just stay where you are. But, but, Do what works but, for you. but for me, I, I want to improve. I want to improve myself. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing courses left and right, athletic, mm-hmm. gym, podcast. Do you know what I mean? I just want to learn more. I'm just curious. That's all. I'm just curious. That will get me. Will that get me some somewhere where I want? Maybe now. Like the success is not guaranteed, but a struggle is guaranteed. Oh damn, that's so. That's true. deep, isn't it? Yeah. Jason, gonna, <laughs> that's yeah. a good quote, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, success is not guaranteed. A struggle is guaranteed. And that's what scares people too. Yeah. And that's what scares people. But again, it's all about passion. Like if people are stressed in school, like again, the struggle is there. If you're stressing, you're not passionate, passionate uh, about it. That's why people get o- overstressed of exams because they're not passionate about it. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, bro? Um, no, I'm all caught up. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you? I'm good, man. That's exactly one hour out right there. Perfect. But yeah, um, right, people, we're gonna end, end it there. If you have any questions, anything like that, please leave a comment or you can find me on Instagram. I'll leave something over here. You can find him on his Instagram as well. I'm gonna leave it somewhere on the screen. Go check out his music, it's amazing. And yeah, I can't wait to see. I'm just curious of what you're gonna do in the future, man. I know you've been nailed. Likewise. I'm yeah, looking man. forward to seeing more of these episodes. Stay tuned. If you're coming from my side, stay tuned because you won't regret it. Your mentality will change watching the Sufi show. The three people from my side that's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Check out his music. <laughs> right, people, I will see y'all later. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate thank you.